Hey guys, Greg here at Let's Solve Insert Greatest Common Divisors into Linked List. This is lead code number 2807. So we're given the head of a linked list head in which each node contains an integer value. And between every pair of adjacent nodes, we want to insert a new node with a value equal to the greatest common divisor, often abbreviated as GCD, of the two. And we want to return that linked list. So in case you don't know what the greatest common divisor of two numbers is, it is the largest positive integer that evenly divides both numbers. Okay, so let me give some examples here zoomed nice and large. So between 18 and 6, we want to insert a node with their GCD. And that happens to be 6 itself. So it's 6 because 6 divides 6, and it also divides 18. And it is the largest positive number that is dividing both of those evenly. So by divides, we basically mean you can get this number through a multiplication. So 18 is equal to 6 times 3, and 6 is equal to 6 times 1. So 6 is a common divide and it's also the largest because we could also have 2 because 18 is equal to 9 times 2 and 6 is equal to 3 times 2 but 2 is actually smaller than 6 and so 6 is the greatest common divisor of the two. So then all we have to do after we figure out that GCD, and there's actually just a function you can use to calculate the GCD. We're not going to worry about the math there. We'll just use a built-in function. We can calculate the GCD, and we would make that a node and put it in the middle. So we'd have 18, the GCD of 6, and the original 6. Now between the 6 and the 10, the GCD happens to be 2, so it's 6 to 10. And between 10 and 3, the GCD is just 1. There's nothing really that makes those numbers, and so we have 10, 1, 3, and we'd return Turn the original head of that list, which is 18. Now we're actually guaranteed that at least one node exists. We might not have two, but we're guaranteed at least one. So we can set prev to be the head, and we can also set cur to be head.next. So that's our initialization here. This might actually be null, so there's no guarantee that this exists, uh, but we are guaranteed that at least this exists. Therefore, we're able to initialize this as head.next. We're basically just going to insert a node in the middle here whose value has the GC. So we'd calculate the GCD, we'd get the p.value and the cur.value, and we could just throw that into a built-in function to get that the GCD happens to be 6 here. Now after we have the value, we can make a new list node, so we'd call the constructor on the list node class, and we would make a node with that value. And say that we call this thing g for the node of the GCD. Then it's really about just fixing these connections. So we would set prev.next over to be g, and we would set g.next over to be c and then we're going to keep this going to keep this going you would just set prev to be cur and we'd set cur to be cur.next now we can do the same thing here a little faster the gcd happens to be 2 so we'd create that we would then call this one g so that we could set prev.next over to be g we could set g.next over to be c and we'd move prev over to be cur and cur to be cur.next one more time here the gcd happens to be 1 we would fix up our connections p dot next is going to be this is going to be g we'd set g dot next over to be cur and then we would move p to be cur and cur to be cur dot next so we'd basically do this loop while we have cur so while we have cur in bounds as soon as cur goes out of bounds that's when we're out of these pairs here and so we can actually just return the head okay so we'd initialize with setting prev equal to the head and cur equal to head dot next now we're guaranteed that this is going to be a node but this might actually be none that is totally okay because we're going to do this simply while we have cur as a valid node, we are going to get the GCD as a number that is equal to math.gcd. That is just a built-in function from the math class. It takes two numbers, the cur dot value and the prev dot value. Now we have the GCD as a number. We can get our node G is equal to simply a list node, which has the value of the GCD. We'll line up our connections. So prev dot next is going to point over to G and G dot next is going to point over to cur and then we just move our pointers over we set prev equal to cur and we move cur over to be cur dot next this is our complete loop here we run this while we have cur as a valid node once it steps out of bounds we just want to return the original head that we were given sorry i just had a small typo here prev does not have a cal it does have a val now the time complexity of this is actually a little confusing because we don't really know what the gcd function is and if you were to look it up it's actually not even really a straightforward answer it's kind of a funny log so we're just going to kind of pretend that this has a time complexity of
of a, just whatever that means, it's just a. So that way we can basically say that we're doing O of n times a, where for each of the n nodes, we're basically going to shove in a middle value and the GCD is going to just take a amount of work, whatever that is. And the space complexity of this, this is going to be big O of one, just constant space because we aren't really using any space here. And if the GCD function used it, we're really just not gonna worry about that. So drop a like if this was helpful guys. I hope it was and have a great day. Bye-bye.